It's been almost one year since we started creating additional downloadable fighters. However, this is finally the climax. Here's our last fighter announcement trailer. Please take a look at the final new challenger in Super Smash Bros. for Nintendo 3DS and Wii U. Don't get careless, Pit. A challenger approaches. Huh? Oh, another angel. Must have missed one. Let's dance, boy. Who is that, Lady Palatina? It's an Umbra Witch. I thought they were extinct. Cheeky. Especially coming from an endangered species. Watch out for her bullet arcs. She uses four guns. A pursuing attack? I like it when you play hard to get. Wow, they're huge! Her Wicked Weaves attack summoned the limbs of demons. Gotcha. So close. The time! It's witch time. Gotcha. Witches can control time itself. How is that all you've got? If you need to learn how to talk to a lady, ask your mum. Gotcha. Tell me you're done already. She's so tough! Don't be such a wimp. Almost. Oh, yeah. Time for the best part. Smashing! That's Gamora. She can also summon huge demons. Enough talk, goddess. Don't mess with a witch. The Umbra Witch who hunts angels, Bayonetta. She's finally joining the battle. We've been asking for your opinion on the Super Smash Bros. fighter ballot, and Bayonetta was the number one choice in Europe. In North America, she was among the top five. This ranking includes even fighters from previous games in the series. Among the negotiable and realizable characters, Bayonetta was the overall number one choice worldwide. In Super Smash Bros., Bayonetta is a fighter with many characteristics based on the original games. The more you learn to control her, the more you can feel that she moves like the character in the original games. First of all, she is a combo fighter. And not just weak attacks. Even her strong side attacks, front air attacks, and so on, can land multiple hits. However, her combos are a bit slow to start. This is also similar to the original games. Each special move can strike multiple times, so you should be able to perform some very elegant aerial combo attacks, Bayonetta style. After an attack, press and hold the button to continue attacking with her guns. This is programmed into almost all of Bayonetta's moves, so you can fire even in the middle of combo attacks. However, the shots themselves won't slow enemies down, so you have to watch out for counterattacks. Bayonetta is equipped with four guns, one on each of her hands and feet so she can shoot whether she's punching or kicking. It's possible to inflict additional damage to opponents at a distance, or steal points by hitting a fighter who's about to be knocked off the stage. The guns from Bayonetta 2 are called Love is Blue and the guns from the original Bayonetta are called Scarborough Fair. All four guns in each set have different names. 
Here's her wicked weaves. For this attack, she uses her hair as a conduit to summon the limbs of the infernal demon, Madama Butterfly. It's her smash attack, and it's huge by any measure. When used at the edge of a stage, her down smash attack is massively effective. This is Bayonetta's signature move, Witch Time. It reacts to the opponent's move in a flash and slows down time. This is her down special attack, and it's activated like a counterattack. While your opponent is moving slowly, strike back. We can't make the entire game slow down every time she uses Witch Time, so instead, it only slows down the opponent you're countering. The length of slowdown time is determined by several factors. The higher the opponent's accumulated damage, the longer the effect. But if you use it repeatedly, its effect will be shorter. When Witch Time is triggered late, Bat Within will be activated instead, reducing damage dealt by your opponent. Bat Within protects Bayonetta even when her dodge move is about to fail. Many of her signature visual effects appear as well, adding a bit of flashiness to brawls. When she lands, butterflies appear. When she's damaged, roses fall. And aerial jumps show off her butterfly wings. During jumps and gunshots, unique magic circle effects turn up too. And in the Wii U version, Bayonetta's shadow is in the shape of Madama Butterfly. Also, there's an extremely long taunt. You can cancel it in the middle too, so you can dance if you want to. Bayonetta has two costumes. There's the blue costume from Bayonetta 2, featuring her shorter hair, and the A Witch With No Memories costume from the original Bayonetta. There's also a color variation inspired by Jean. Bayonetta's standard special is Bullet Climax. She can shoot with her hands or her feet. The guns always shoot slightly upward, but you can fire continuously. Also, if you press and hold the button, this attack will charge up. If used on the ground, her side special is Heel Slide. By holding the button, you can add a kick at the end. This way, you can make a combo as well. However, if you use it in the air, her side special is Afterburner Kick instead. This is the first time ever that the name of the move changes depending on where you use it. If you hit your opponent in the air with Afterburner Kick, you can then strike with another one. Also, if you use the Afterburner Kick after pressing down, then you can angle it diagonally downward. Let's just say, if you often use Ryu's traditional Hadouken command, it should be easy to do. This can also be used as a starting point of a combo. Her up special is called Witch Twist. This special attack takes you skyward, but you can move immediately after you've activated it, and you can use it once again mid-jump. If you keep holding the button, you can shoot too. Try holding the button to rack up more damage. When recovering, use Witch Twist, then jump and Witch Twist again on top of that. You can even add in Airborne combos and an Afterburner Kick after using Witch Twist too. However, the more moves you add, the larger the opening you'll leave when you finally land, so be careful. Fierce combos like this are more than possible. If you're on the receiving end, try to fend them off. Her final smash is Infernal Climax. The way this move activates is also very unique. First, Witch Time goes into effect and the entire screen slows down. The Climax gauge will be displayed, which means it's time to damage opponents to fill up the gauge. When the Climax gauge is full, you'll summon the Infernal Demon, Gamora, who will lunge for any opponents you attack while maxing out the gauge. Once Gamora has finished chewing, if the opponent's accumulated damage is over 100%, they'll be finished immediately, so it works like a danger zone. You can also throw in multiple opponents at once, so please try it out.
There's also a Bayonetta stage, Umbra Clock Tower. We've recreated this extremely memorable and iconic opening scene from the original Bayonetta, the Falling Clock Tower. Basically, it's a flat platform, but moving platforms run right next to it just to mix things up. If you want to win, utilize the terrain well. In the middle of a match, once you enter the alternate world, Purgatorio, you'll see an army of angels, and once you pass it, you won't see them anymore. Angels like Inspired and Fortitudo have guest appearances as well. For the Wii U version, we picked some memorable songs from both the original and Bayonetta 2. There are also songs arranged specifically for Super Smash Bros. We hope you enjoy them. In addition to Bayonetta, we created Jean, Rodan, and Cereza trophies as well. If you purchase and download Bayonetta in Super Smash Bros., you'll get them all. Bayonetta's new challenger illustration was created by Bayonetta development team member Eiji Funahashi. It's an impressive work showcasing the fight between light and dark, so take some time to soak in all the details on the official website. Bayonetta's inclusion is another dream come true type of situation. We'll need a little more time, so please be patient until she is released. Just like Corin, we're targeting a February 2016 release for Bayonetta and the Umbra Clock Tower stage. Once it's finalized, we will announce the exact release date on the official website. And now, we have some news about Amiibo. Amiibo of Ryu, Roy, and Rob, with his Famicom colors, will be released on March 18, 2016. Please stay tuned for retailer and pre-order information. And we can also confirm Amiibo production for the three fighters that we covered today, Cloud, Corin, and Bayonetta. Each of them will have Amiibo figures. Their release dates are still to be determined. Please wait for further information.